What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm Justin Tech. I'm obsessed with Philips Hue and this video is for all of you Hue users who are new to the family. Maybe you're sending it to someone and you don't want to explain the whole app to them. Why don't you let me teach them how to use the app? I'll show them all around it. I'll show them some cool tips and tricks and who knows, maybe even you'll learn something new. So without further ado, let's get into the Hue app. In this video, I'll be showing off the Hue app that requires a Hue bridge. If you're using the Bluetooth app, just click the video in the top corner. Let's jump into it. As you can see behind me, I have a whole Hue setup, some bulbs, the gradient light strip behind my TV. First thing, I wanna show you the basics of how to connect a light bulb. So opening up the app, and you'll go to, there are a couple ways you can go to this. You can either go to settings and you'll have the access to light setup or even from the home screen, you click that dot, dot, dot on the top and you can go to light setup. So from here, mine already showed up. It's the Hue Color Lamp 1. That is that light over there. Um, and if it's not showing up for you, your brand new bulb, just unplug it or unscrew it and then put it back in and then click add light on top again and it most likely should show up. So real quick, I'm going to give this Hue uh, bulb a name. Let's call it canister because it is in a canister. And then you can also change the icon. So here are a bunch of options. Um, I'm going to stick with the bulb icon. There we go, voila. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna put this light into a room, so I have to create a room. On your home screen, if you're just starting out, you're probably not gonna have anything here, but these are this is where all of your rooms and zones live. Let me explain what those are. A room is what it sounds like, right? It's your bedroom, all the lights that are in that room, or your kitchen. Zones allow you to take lights from any room and put them in a zone together. So you can't have the same bulb in multiple rooms, but you can have the same bulb in multiple zones. So let's create a room. You can also access that from these three dots on top. Go to rooms and zones. And here I'm gonna create a new one and I'm gonna make a zone for this. So create zone. And I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this video shoot, right? Because that's what I'm doing. And then let's see an icon real quick. Let's make it studio because you know, it's like my studio. And then I'm gonna take canister. Then I'm gonna get my gradient light strip, which is behind my TV. And then also <laughs> I'm using my TV lamp bulb uh, in the bottom corner over there. So I'm gonna grab that, save. Voila, I have a brand new zone. And as you can see, it says video shoot. And it shows me the colors that they currently are on the main bar. Here I can adjust the brightness right on the on the front and I could also turn them on and off. Let's say I want to get a little more advanced. I'm going to go into that zone. Here I have a list of all the lights that are in the zone and I can go from the list. I can also go to different scenes that I've created or will create. Let's create a scene real quick. So here are my scenes. I'm going to create a new scene. When you click new scene, it will automatically take what the scene currently is in the room and make that your scene. So that could be a fun way of creating a scene is get, get it the way you want it and then be like, okay, this is the way I want it and create scene. Or click create scene, adjust the lights. I'm gonna adjust them, make like a cool, let's do, let's do that. So this will be my new scene. I'm gonna call this demo scene. There we go, demo scene, save. Now, demo scene shows up at the bottom of my scenes. Here's the thing, are you gonna use that a lot? What you can do in this menu is if you hold down on that scene, you can readjust its placement on the list. So I'm going to put it right on top because this is gonna be something that I use all the time. If I wanna edit it, just click that little pencil. You can edit it, rename it, whatever you want. You do have to, unfortunately, tap on the scene to edit it, which is kind of annoying. I wish you could just hold down on it and then it give you that option, but that's not how it works, unfortunately. If you've already connected the Hue app to your voice assistants, it works with HomeKit, Amazon, 
and Google Assistant, then these scenes will automatically sync with those voice assistants. You won't have to do anything. If you haven't set those up yet, don't worry, at the end of this video, I will show you how that works. Now let me get back into how you change the color of different lights. So like I said, these are the three lights that are in my zone right behind me. And I have the list view, I have the scene view, and then I have the color wheels. You can take one light, move it around, but you can also put lights on top of one another like this, drag them on top, and then you can use all three. You can change all three just by moving that around. I'm gonna go back to my scenes, click demo scene, voila, I'm back to that. And then the other color wheel, these are white lights. These are the different types of white that are either gonna tell your body to relax or um, to be energized. So I'm gonna put these all on top of one another, like so. And then now my room's like, oh, I'm ready, I'm going, good morning, woo! And now I'm like, I'm ready to watch a movie, chill, relax, fall asleep. Let's go back to my demo scene. Um, isn't it so much fun? <laughs> like you're gonna have so much fun creating scenes and um, I'm like so excited for you. Uh, this sometimes I just like lay on the couch and I'm just like playing around with my lights. Like, you know, that's all. Next up, we have accessories. To set those up, just go to settings and you go to accessory setup. And as you can see, I already have some accessories here. I have a dimmer switch, a motion sensor, a button, and my desk switch, which is a really cool Friends of Hue switch. I did a video on that, you should totally check it out. Um, so right here, if I wanted to add something, you click add accessory, and it shows you a whole list of the different accessories that you can add. Then you just tap one and it will explain to you what you need to do in order to set up that accessory. If you're interested in a Hue accessory video, let me know in the comments. That could be a really fun video to make. Next up, let's go into routines. And there's a whole tab for this. And there's a few different types of routines that you can that you can create. Let's start, let's skip home and away for a second and go with wake up. Now, wake up allows you to set a time for your lights to begin fading up over a certain amount of time. So as you can see, I have my lights turning on at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday and that will take 20 minutes to fade in. So the fade in begins at the time you set. So at 8, 8 a.m., my lights begin to fade on over 20 minutes. Uh, you can choose the room. I chose my bedroom and I chose specifically, specifically the lights in the bedroom to do this. Now, the only issue I have with this that the app doesn't do is it doesn't allow you to assign the type of light you wanna wake up to. It will only turn them on to the last on state, which I think is a huge flaw because I have my last on state to that warm white and I wanna wake up to, to, to bright what the, the blue light white. Um, this is doable on other apps and specifically I use the Amazon uh, voice assistant to do that and she does have a fade on feature as well. So if that's something you're interested in, then you should totally try and use your voice assistant to do that. You can also have your lights turn off at a certain time of the day. I used to use this when I used to like go to work or go out, but I don't do that much lately. So uh, yeah, save that. Next up, you've got go to sleep, which this you create a routine for your lights to slowly fade off at a certain time of the night, basically telling yourself like, okay, it's time to go to bed. Then there's other routines. And here you can create custom routines based off the sunset, sunrise, or at a specific time. As you can see, I have the read fade. So I have all of my living room lights and my great room lights turn on at 4.30 p.m. because that's when the sun is setting. Lastly, we've got home and away. And this is basically how your lights react whether you're arriving home or leaving home. It's called geofencing. So basically, I have it set so that when I come home, my bedroom is dimmed. That way it doesn't interrupt anything my, my roommate's doing in, in his room or in this room. And when I leave home, it, it turns off my lights. In order to turn this on, you will need to go to settings and turn on out of home control. Meaning you have to create a Hue login account and connect that to your Hue bridge. Once you create that account and connect it to out of home control, it will allow you to control all of your lights no matter where you are, and also turn on that geofencing technology. This next one's pretty important, and that is power on behavior. So this comes into play if there's a power outage, right? If you're asleep at 3 a.m. and there's a power outage, you don't want all of your lights to turn on because they lost power and then got it back. Here, you can assign 
the, oh, like my new canister, I didn't do it yet. So I can assign it to power loss recovery. So this will use whatever the last color and brightness it was, and that's what it will go to if there's a power outage. So if it was off, it will stay off. I've got two more things for you. First one is widgets. Widgets are basically different icons that you can assign to be on either your notification center of your phone or on your Apple Watch. So for example, I've created these four widgets. If I pull down my notification center and swipe over, at the top, I have these four settings. These widgets can also show up on the Hue app on your Apple Watch. I personally don't use the widgets at all, but if that's something of interest to you, then yeah, you can do it. And lastly, I real quick want to explain how to connect the Hue app or the Hue bridge to your voice assistants. Let's start with HomeKit because it's right on the app. On HomeKit, you'll go, you'll click this HomeKit and Siri. I already have it connected, but here is where you could connect it. It's going to ask you to scan and take a picture of the HomeKit signal on the back of the hub and voila, everything will be synced and that's really easy. When it comes to Amazon, you're going to want to add the skill and discover devices. Pretty much the same thing goes for Google Assistant. From there, all of your scenes and bulbs will sync with your voice assistants, allowing you to access them and add them to routines and scenes. And that unlocks a whole bunch of other things. And if you're interested in smart home devices and routines that allow you to lock the door, turn on the music, turn on the lights, then you should check out my smart home series. It was a five part series showing you how to build a smart home from the ground up, addressing all the different facets of a smart home. And I had an episode completely completely devoted to Philips Hue, so you should totally check that out. Anyway, I hope that you found today's video helpful. I'm so excited for you to start creating scenes and routines and playing with your lights. You're gonna have so much fun. I come out with videos every week. I come out with tech reviews and I'm coming out with more in-depth Hue app tutorials. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell for alerts. That way you know when my videos drop. And if you learned something new today, you should totally give me a like. That way you help other people find this video so that they get their questions answered as well. Until next time, you should check out my other Hue videos. I'm Justin, and I'll tech Hue later.